It's Friday, it's decided, children of Bodom time. Hit the music! Hello and welcome to Decipher Podcast Reaction Video Friday. Full sentences. Um, <laughs> we're here and we are really happy about that. Today we are reacting to Children of Bodom's newest track, or at least at the time of filming, and that is Under Grass and Clover. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a big, fairly big folk, but Bodom fan. Um, Not so much. No, I feel like there may be a review one day because they're already on my list anyway but my favourite album is Hate Crew Death Roll and I was informed by my good old best mate Titch um, that this one is the closest to the album since the album interesting so this excites me I'm so a... you have high expectations oh, I do yes oh, okay. um, the last few albums have been poor in my opinion and unfortunately they're a band that rarely pull it off live I've seen them three times two were wank and one was fucking fantastic so that's that so yeah Boy, are you fucking ready, Mike? I'm ready Excellent. and willing. But before we start, because <gasps> let's switch up a bit. Let's do it, let's do it now. Yeah. Just, do to, it just now. to make sure. Follow us. Decided. Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> at facebook.com. <laughs> uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash decided. Twitter is at decided. Instagram is underscore decided. You may be surprised to hear that Twitch is deciphered, YouTube is also deciphered, but wait, there's more! On Tuesdays, we release our podcasts audioly on SoundCloud. Audioly, SoundCloud. <laughs> and that is uh, under the name of Deciphered, and also Hold Your Houses, Spotify, Deciphered. Now, Bodum at Deciphered. So I'm going to be looking to you mostly to sort of shed light on whether or not it's close to all the stuff. Yeah. Drum is just as crazy as ever, though. Yeah, drum is sick. I love these melodics, man. could be me and my very limited exposure to this band, but the whole kind of stop starting with the the guitar and just having the vocals ring out, that's kind of new for them, from anything that I've heard. Yeah, they've, they've been known to do it before, but it's not as frequent. Hmm, fair. Thoughts thus far? Um, with the music video, I've been vocal about this, not necessarily on the podcast, but I've never been a fan of live show music videos. Mm. I just I don't get the appeal. Like, You always like there to be a bit of like a narrative. Yeah, give me a story. Give, do something creative at least. Mm. Um, even if it's not like that special, like Condra with the Maya, which we did a couple of weeks ago, um, it wasn't like overwhelming, like, oh my God, it's fantastic, but... I'm piqued my interest I want to watch it I want to see what's yeah, going on exactly whereas this I'm like I know what's going on they're playing a live show yeah well, you don't even need to watch this to know no. how it's going to go down kind yeah of exactly musically though uh, I'm liking it not too resonant with um, Hate Crew Death Row album okay um, closer than recent albums I guess but not what I expected thus far cool Mm. 
Do I see about a 50 year old large woman in the front of the row, front row of the crowd? Quite possibly. Fair play. Off living life. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not judging, I'm just confused. <laughs> um, I'm not going to rewind it and find out, but you guys can. She's a key part of the narrative. <laughs> I nearly made an awful joke. I'm glad you did not. I'm so glad too. I'll take that after. Sick solo. So yeah, speaking of somebody that's not really like overly familiar with much of their stuff at all, um, sounds all right. Yeah, it uh, sounds good. I like it. Mm. Like it thus far, thus far, thus far. Thus far. <clears throat> well, thus. Um, however, I'm getting like, there's parts where I'm like, okay, that's a bit hate crew death rolly. I'm not, obviously, I'm trying to react to this song a separate as is, entity yeah. as well as also possibly part of the album. I mean, it could possibly fit on that album, but it'd be like a a lower down track. Mm. Okay. Fair play. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it was alright. Yeah, I quite liked it. Actually. No massive issues with it. I'm not rushing to listen to it again, but no, it was cool. Uh, video could have done a lot more with it, I feel yeah, like. It's the kind of song that you can imagine there being like kind of a, a more like more of a narrative in the video for as well. It's the kind of thing, it's got enough going on in it that you feel like it could tell a story with the right video. Yeah. Which is uh, a charm, but still good. Really good. Yeah, um, likeable enough. Mm. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and there's not really too much else to say about it. The music was really good. Um, the solos are pretty much the only thing that I am familiar with them as a band for and just as good as any other that I might have heard in the past yeah and that was that fair play so that's Children Bone with Undergrass and Clover um, I've already read out all the stuff so that's great news uh, join us maybe I think join us on Monday for our first pod podcast back I didn't check the dates before we filmed this um, <laughs> and if not join us the week after on Monday either way definitely join us next Friday for a reaction video <laughs> yeah much love and goodbye. <laughs>